The floodgates have opened with unhappy Hamilton residents looking at what they'll have to pay to have flood protection benefits. Counties along the Great Miami River pay into the system, but the latest assessment has some paying thousands of dollars more. This couldn't be true. The math's wrong. The, the alarm is too high. So I actually went a few days later that week to the MCD's informational open house in Dayton. David Stark started Keep Hamilton Afloat, a grassroots group fighting the increase and informing others about the hike. He's the property manager at Art Space Hamilton Lofts. His assessment went from 1,200 to just under 11,000. This is not something that's going to get better on its own. And I understand that people don't like to pay more money for things that they can't necessarily see and it's tangible. MCD says it needs the money for the aging infrastructure and keeping up with the heavier and more frequent rainfalls. Property owners say they don't want to be underwater, but at what cost? If not for the flood protection system, many of these communities that we protect would not be able to sustain and thrive as they have over the last hundred years. Loader says the cleanup costs could be more in the future if businesses don't make the investment now. The MCD uses property values to calculate the protection benefits, but the readjustment hasn't been done since 2012. We must proceed with a, a readjustment to also make it fair and equitable. MCD says the majority of properties pay less than $250 in fees. It's the unequal increase that has businesses worried about the economic impact. All of that could be jeopardized by these incredibly staggering high rates, which will not only put little guys out of business, but very likely could ruin our ability to go out and woo the big time developers. In Hamilton, Paige Barnes, Local 12 News. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.